Welcome to Focuses everyone. In this video, we'll be learning steps in simulation and phases in simulation for exams. Okay, first of all, let's go into steps in simulation first. There are 12 points you need to remember for steps of simulation. So if you remember this, then we can easily write about steps in simulation and phases in simulation in our exams. So first of all, we have the point called uh, problem formulation right here. So of course, if there is no any problem, then no need of steps and solution. So we need to have the problem first. So here the problem must be crystal clear to the simulation analyst and formulation should also be clear to the client. Okay, this is our problem formulation first. First of all, we need to identify the problem. This is the point one. And in point two, we have setting of objective and overall project plan. So the objective indicates the question to be answered by simulation. At this point or step or determination should be made concerning whether the simulation is right methodology or not. Assuming it's appropriate, then the plans should include the stops like alternative systems, simulation cost, time required, and so on. Overall, you should set the objective and the plans should be proper. Now, after the point 2, we have point 3 and 4, which is model conceptualization right there and data collection. These two processes right there can go simultaneously side by side also because it reduces the overall time consumed uh, to simulate a system, or you can just do one after another also but mostly it's done simultaneously to reduce the time in model conceptualization. It basically means how our model is going to look like. The model is visualized and constructed in this uh, step model conceptualization. It's probably as much of art as science. Now we have data collection right there. Here the necessary data are collected for the input process and then analyzed. Data can be collected through different methods such as questionnaire interviews, survey and so on. So this together combined to give us the fifth point, which is a uh, model translation right here. We have the concept or the blueprint here in conceptualization. And then we have data here in data collection. Then this together, we start coding to make the real model. Here to make the model, we can use general purpose language such as Java, C++, etc. Or the special purpose language and software such as Arena, Simon, etc. This simulation language and softwares are really powerful and flexible. So once we have translated the model, or made the model then we go to the sixth point which is verified so what is verification it is just the process of inserting that model behaves as intended usually by debugging or through the animation so verification is necessary but not sufficient for validation so if it is not verified then we just go to the model translation process again so why validation is needed we already verified it but why validation is needed because it ensures that no significant difference exists between the model we have created and the real system our model should reflect the reality this validation can be done through different statistical analysis so if our validation fails either our model conceptualization is wrong or the data collection is wrong it may be also the case that this both of this was incorrect so we need to go back and see what was incorrect and continue the process again but if the validation is successful that means yes then we go to the eighth point which is experimental design so here in experimental design what we basically do is develop the alternative model now after doing that we go to uh, our ninth point which is production run and analysis here we run the model giving the real data and we analyze how well the model is doing so once we have run and analyzed it we again go to another step which is number 10 that is again more runs here we do different more runs giving different data and test the system to the extreme so if we need to give again more run after this number 10 process which is more run then either our experimental design has failed or production run and analysis has failed so we need to repeat it again but if no more run test is to be done then we move to the another point which is which is documentation and reporting so documentation and reporting is just the return report about the system you have just created it will have all the details about the simulation we have just created and lastly in number 12 we have the final step which is implementation finally the system we have created through this simulation is implemented in the real world so this was the steps in simulation involved so now let's see different phase in simulation there are four phases in simulation and once we have studied the steps in simulation which is this diagram right here then four phase of simulation is very very easy there are four phase of simulation number one and number two which is our phase one so number one problem formulation and number two setting up objective uh, and overall project plan is our phase one similarly our phase two right here is number three number four number five number six and number seven the square we see here is our phase two 
similarly the phase 3 is number 8 number 9 and number 10 so that makes phase 3 and and lastly we have phase 4 which includes number 11 and number 12 which is documentation and reporting and the implementation part so i hope this video help you guys to know steps in simulation and phases in simulation uh, good luck for your exams and motivate us to give more and more awesome contents just by subscribing and this concludes our video stay safe stay healthy happy learning goodbye everybody see you guys in the next one